Hello, this is Yanis Varoufakis with a message from DiEM25. There are many ways to lose one's democracy. The judicial road to authoritarianism is perhaps the most pernicious. It was invented in Singapore by Lee Kuan Yew, who, instead of imprisoning his political opponents, he discovered the art of neutralizing them by forcing them into bankruptcy. This tactic has been recently used in Europe to silence green activists, movements like DiEM25 demanding more transparency from Europe's central bank. The list is long. Today, the same tactic is being used in the United Kingdom to neutralize Jeremy Corbyn, to ensure that his recent, passionate, splendid case for a better, more decent world is kept out of the next general election, out of Britain's next parliament. A bit of history. Jeremy was sued for comments he made in 2018. In 2022, just three weeks before the trial was due to commence, the case was dropped, vindicating Jeremy fully. Still, that left Jeremy with a bill of £1,477,000. Many small donations and subsequent negotiations helped to reduce that sum substantially. Nevertheless, still today, Jeremy is left with a bill of £400,000. The powers that be know that Jeremy is not like them. Jeremy Corbyn has not stored up treasures by cozying up to bankers, company directors, conglomerates, the oligarchy. Without extraordinary personal wealth, no one could meet a bill like this. Which is, of course, the de facto ulterior motive behind this absurd affair to prevent Jeremy's political participation by tying him up in legal cases and financial difficulty, and to intimidate others like him into silence and submission. DiEM25 has defended progressive politics from lawfare attacks like this before. Now we must do it again. Such attacks require a collective response, a defense of our politics. On behalf of DiEM25, I stand here before you imploring you to rise up in defense of democracy against this pernicious enemy, the judicial road to authoritarianism, in defense of our comrade Jeremy Corbyn, in defense of the right of people in Jeremy's constituency in London to vote for Jeremy, in defense of your right to choose whom you vote for, wherever you may live. So donate to DiEM25's crowdfunding campaign in support of Jeremy, not just money, but also your attention. And yes, join DiEM25 now, so that together we continue our pan-European struggle for democracy across Europe. Carpe diem.